27%, which reflect the tradition of technical service in dealing with both printed and digital information. And information management and information services receive greater attention in Oceania than in other three regions. So, and uh, uh, on the other hand, the relatively low figure of 11.6% for basic of library and information science is something of an anomaly compared with the other regions. So maybe they don't ask students to write thesis. And North America, um, basic of represent a share of 38.0, the uh, top one, uh, in North America, uh, the largest uh, individual value in all data. This reflects the fact that most LIST programs in this region have at least one research method course and one internship or a practicum course. Uh, on the other hand, no course in this region is classified as other, probably because most North American LIST programs are standardized and do not require a thesis or dissertation to obtain professional status at that time. But I think this trend is changing. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about that. <clears throat> and this is the result in Europe. Uh, compared with the other region, the core course of information users and information systems stand out in Europe. This reflects the European tradition of emphasizing social aspects of uh, information and information user behavior in library and information science program. And also the digital information share uh, is 11.1% and very um, relatively small. Uh, this is a growing emphasis on the digitization of the cultural heritage materials in Europe. So, um, okay, so this is the end of the uh, globalist project. And then uh, let's uh, talk a, a little bit about the trends of MLS programs in 2016, uh, library profession in US, UK, and Australia. Last year, I was asked to conduct uh, research on trends of academic librarians' education overseas by our government. And because the time was quite limited, we chose only three countries to study. Uh, they are US, UK, and Australia. And we collected uh, data on education systems to train library and information science professionals, skills com <coughs> competence, com competencies of academic uh, librarians on, on the job training and future perspectives of the occupation. Uh, today I just uh, introduce the recent uh, curricular change in four programs in these three countries. Uh, first, in the US, we picked up two uh, top uh, list programs based on the ranking of the US News World Report. Uh, they are School of Information Science, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and the second was the School of Information and Library Science, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Uh, the Syracuse was also the number two, and uh, this is my, 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 I and uh, Chris graduated from Syracuse, but this time I was more interested in uh, Chapel Hill, so sorry about that. Um, this is the list of degree programs from which we choose Masters of Science in Library and Information Science to examine. So this one. And then, uh, okay. There are six uh, professional pathways um, knowledge management and, uh, okay, knowledge management, yeah, and uh, competitive intelligence for comp corporate librarians and uh, arch archives and special collections for archivists and special collection librarian, 
and research and information services for information literacy educa educators. Uh, res research and information services. Information. Are, Something is wrong. Okay, just skip. Information organization and management is a cataloger and information architect and uh, metadata analyst. And data and asset management is for our data managers and curator, digital repository managers, and youth and K-12, uh, children, young adults, service for school and public libraries. And uh, uh, let's move to the Chapel Hill. Uh, there are uh, seven uh, uh, degree programs uh, offered by this school, and we just analyzed the Master Science in Information Science. Um, so this is the uh, okay <clears throat> prerequisite that this program has a prerequisite of uh, information technology competency, and uh, there is an online uh, test. Uh, required for uh, newcomers. And uh, there is a, a several area of specialization like academic libraries, adult service in uh, public libraries, archives and record management, children and youth uh, services, digital libraries, organization of information and materials, and uh, reference, school library media, and special libraries and knowledge management. So this uh, uh, is a relatively, you know, um, general uh, program. <clears throat> uh, in, in, um, by the way, I was involved in uh, developing the digital libraries uh, pro, uh, teaching materials. So I st I'm also using this uh, uh, curriculum in teaching my teaching. And uh, this is the course of academic libraries, and I don't want to go to the detail, but uh, this uh, uh, curriculum structure for academic library specialization, and they consist of required courses and four uh, focuses, including user services, collection management, and cataloging, and it also offers recommended courses. So this is a very heavy uh, pro, uh, uh, curriculum. And compared to that one, uh, this is adult service in public libraries. And uh, this is uh, for archivist and record management. So this is also um, like a very detailed curriculum and uh, uh, suggest additional uh, suggested uh, uh, courses. And this is a children and young service. This is a relatively simple. Uh, digital libraries. This is still simple. And organization of information and materials. Uh, and uh, this is a reference. And school library media and uh, special libraries and knowledge management. So these are the things we just analyzed, but you know, I, I don't want to go to the detail for this one. And let's move to the British one, University of Sheffield. Um, this is the model used to develop their curriculum in the information school, information school of the University of Sheffield. Uh, they identified three core concepts of the curriculum, including IT in media and uh, library and information uh, science and subject. And uh, uh, there is an overlap of these three areas in area one and two and three. And area one represent uh, overlap of IT media and library and information science. And uh, this area deal with uh, e-content and digital library specialists. And uh, number two uh, overlap represent overlap of library and information science and subject, which deal with disi <coughs> discipline-based information and knowledge specialist. And uh, three, uh, which is the overlap uh, of uh, subject and the IT and media, 
and deal with the context-specific technology and media specialists. This uh, context-specific technology and media is a quite new idea, I think. And uh, this is the unique program of the uh, Sheffield. And uh, this is very similar to the uh, figure I show you in the European curriculum. And this is uh, the information, uh, the, the University of Sheffield model of blended information professionals. And then the, they use this, um, the previous uh, model to develop the model of blended information professionals. And uh, in the first semester, all students take shared core module of common, uh, common foundation of all programs. And then second semester, a specialized seminar in different area and shared uh, parallel core modules in research and method and special subject. And finally, they are requested to write dissertation or thesis. So research method and the writing thesis are very important in these days in library and information science education. And uh, this is uh, the Sheffield uh, mm, curriculum. And uh, uh, there is an um, organization called QAA, or Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education, uh, which uh, is an independent body entrusted with monitoring and uh, uh, advising on standards and quality of US higher education. So, each university has to check whether their curriculum is, uh, can, can be reflected on the uh, QAA's standard. And so this is the way they structure their curriculum. The core topics are social context of information use and information literacy and information behavior, information retrieval and knowledge organization, and library and information and knowledge service, management and organizational behavior, and the Sheffield graduate attribute. They just define all these important attributes for the graduate of this university. And based on these core topics, there are some uh, core modules. In uh, British uh, education, higher education, they don't call um, the unit, but the module. And in Asia, uh, no, in School of Information Studies, uh, Ch uh, Charles Stratt University in Australia, uh, there are three degree programs, graduate um, diploma of information studies and master of information studies with specialization, master of education, teacher, uh, librarianship. And, uh, you know, because, I just want to say that uh, in the first one, graduate diploma of information studies is their uh, choice of on campus or a distance. And the second area is uh, also some choice between on campus and distance. And the last one, master of education, te teacher uh, librarianship uh, is distance only. And, uh, um, this is very similar to Japanese system. Anyway, <clears throat> the last trend is Asian and Pacific region. Uh, for Asian Pacific region, particularly in Asia, educational systems and uh, levels are quite uh, diversified. We edited a book titled Quality Assurance in Library and Information Science Education subtitled by an international and comparative study. Uh, the articles describing each country's educational system and quality assurance mechanism was reported by um, many researchers representing each country. So uh, this is the book and uh, uh, I, I, we are very grateful to all these authors who wrote the chapters of the book. And this book is available online, I mean uh, as an e-book, but also available in a printed, um, printed version. 
And uh, even though we have 15 chapters in this book and covered about 10 countries, there are many countries still uh, remain unstudied. So uh, we need to do more to and expand the coverage and uh, uh, try to compare and uh, collaborate with other Asian countries not covered in this book. Oh, this is these chapters. And, uh, okay, time is almost up. I have to talk about the future. Uh, I don't have any answer. This is the famous figure uh, in paper written by Frey uh, Osborne in 2013. Um, and this, this um, figure uh, represents the um, probability of being replaced by IT or, uh, or uh, AI uh, for each occupation in the U.S. And uh, uh, this is a very interesting article, and uh, they found that uh, wages and educational attainment exhibit a strong negative relationship with an occupation's probability of computerization. So even though you are very high, uh, um, highly educated, your job will not, well, it's not necessarily be you know, secured. And the librarian is uh, 0.65 and ranked 360 among two, to 686. So there's some probability that our job will distinct. So how to cope with this situation? Uh, what, uh, what are the information professionals' uh, permanent merits? We have to talk about it, uh, think about it uh, individually. And uh, based on my opinion, it's uh, analytical skill and uh, intermedi uh, work as an intermediary and evaluation of information sources and uh, uh, educating uh, capacity. And also, uh, you know, communicating, communicating with users and also some other professionals to collaborate. So these are the very important uh, uh, traits of our profession. And the skills and knowledge expected of librarians. Uh, there are many uh, skills like you know, basic skills like flexibility, leadership, communication, and up adapting changes, and uh, uh, up-to-date information and communication technology for negotiating with IT people. And we have to develop knowledge bases including library, archives, and uh, record, record for MLA Corporation. The MLA is a museum, library, and archives. Uh, they are cooperating for our digital archiving. And research method for evidence-based practices and uh, subject-specific knowledge for applying ML skills in a variety of domain. And uh, finally, uh, I just want to go back to my original thought. Like, you know, we have a good uh, area, our knowledge on health and medical, if we have uh, a good knowledge about health and medical information, we will have uh, success in uh, the professional job, but also we can expect long and healthy life. And if you have good in the business information, then you have um, you, you have a good business services, but also you will be able to succeed in a business and management. And uh, uh, if you're uh, special, uh, good at high-tech sci information, then uh, you have advantage in uh, lifelong learning. And if you're uh, good at legal information, then uh, you can protect yourself from a uh, lawsuit. So, uh, this is a good area you, you, to, you know, further um, learning and uh, 
training uh, the uh, information professionals so that uh, they have uh, some ways of success, I hope. And share this merit with colleagues and uh, clients. And also, uh, we have to enhance entrepreneurship. So this is, I think, the um, bright future of our occupation. But who knows? So this is the end of my presentation. And thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Dr. Makiko. So very wonderful your presentations. I'm sure the floor have found this afternoon presentation informative practice and useful. And do you have any questions for her? <laughs> okay. Maybe this we have the time to have a next. Uh, so I would like to. Sorry, may I invite Assistant Professor Dr. Pim Rampai Prem Smith on the stage to present the souvenir to Professor Dr. Makiko to show our heartfelt appreciation. Thank you for spending time with us today and hope to see you tomorrow. And we have some announcements for the committee member who will to attend the committee receptions. Please meet at the first floor of this building. See you again tomorrow. Thank you.